Hey, sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweets Unmuted. I hope you guys are having a great day, a blessed day. Start fresh to a new week. Don't worry about any troubles or disappointments that you had last week. Why? Because this week is a fresh start and a fresh day to correct any mistakes that you may have me made okay so don't be troubled don't be dismayed don't focus on the things that you cannot change to my new subscribers i thank you for tapping in with your girl sweets to my returning subscribers i thank you for your love and your loyalty if you're just new to the channel and you're stopping by i ask that you go ahead and click that subscribe button because we definitely have some things coming to you. You want to stay in tune with your girl sweets, okay? Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and also turn on your post notification so that you are notified each and every time I upload a video as well as each and every time I go live. So feel free to like, share, and sub, okay? We're trying to get on the road to 1K for my sweet loves. We're trying to get our sweet love family growing okay so feel free to share with your family and friends on the road to 1k subscribers baby so i did get out you guys um self-care messages ask the holy spirit for two self-care messages as well as one message from the dreamers from the dreamers deck a dreamers affirmation however um i'm not gonna read it until the end okay because i know once we get into the raw and uncut truth it'll have us a little razzle dazzle possibly hopefully not but i know that those self-care messages and those dreamers affirmation will um change the, set the tone and change the tone rather so I'm going to go ahead and get the energy cleared and get our prayer in so we can get into the raw and uncut truth, love. Holy Spirit, I thank you for this divinely orchestrated reading. I thank you for just being you, dear Father. I surrender my spirit. I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you, dear God. Use me as you will today. Have your will and have your way. Use me as a vessel for the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Got a little tongue tied there. Okay. One second, y'all. I'm just trying to get... This stuff situated. Okay. I think that's it. All right. So, Holy Spirit, what do you got going on for us? What do you have going on for my sweet love? What's the overall energy, Holy Spirit, for this week? What does my sweet loves have coming towards them this week first week of october breast cancer awareness month make sure you guys are going to get um you know your mammograms and stay on top of your health screenings i just watched something this morning a lady found out she was late getting her mammogram and ended up finding out she had um, breast cancer, unfortunately. Looks that the Holy Spirit sends love and light to her and courage at this time. Okay. So I'm going to put them out and then we're going to see. So we got plotting on your niggas. If somebody in your energy is plotting on your means. I'm 
Just so you guys know, this reading could be past, present, or future energy. Take it where it resonates, you'll know. Unless the card specifically comes out. So a single mom is plotting on your neck. <laughs> oh, wow. What else do you have? Okay. So... Something significant about a newborn when it comes to the single mom. Spirit is saying, look beyond what they want you to see. Read between the lines. And walk by faith, not by sight. Have faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. Not by what you see. So, it's a single mom that could possibly have a newborn. She plotting on a male figure that's in your energy. You and this person could have had car sex. I keep seeing car sex. I've seen it three times. And what else is here? Okay. So we got plotting on your, your neck. So we got keep your grass cut low. There's snakes around. So this female is clearly a snake if she plotting on your mittens in them. She could be plotting on someone um, connected to you from a barbershop. We got barbershop. Could be a barber. Take it where it resonates. Or oh, this barber, this this barber could be a snake as well. So be mindful. We have the accuser is usually the accused. We know that's how it usually goes, right? When somebody say, "Oh, you did this, that, and the third, chances are it's really the the accuser is usually the accused. Oh, you cheating? You doing this? You doing that? The whole time the one saying you cheating is the one cheating the spirit says stop running from love some of you guys could be running from love at this time scared you're gonna get hurt scared the past is gonna repeat itself but huh, can't run okay they will find you you can't run what is that no you can't hide it's going to find you and make you want me. Oh, that's probably what the love said to you. You can't run. You can't hide. I'm going to find you and make you want me. Oh, so somebody's probably chasing y'all down, sweet loves, and making y'all what the hell? No. Sweet loves, I know y'all ain't out with here. Getting stalked down by love. Okay, so we got you're about to be triggered. Stay calm and remain in control over your past self. So a triggering moment is coming, you guys. I'm not sure what it is. Can I have some more on this triggering moment, spirit? Listen, if you find that you're being triggered or that you are in a situation that's triggering you and you just like want to go back to who you used to be and basically you know tear somebody ass up take a deep breath take a moment or two and even if you don't want to say it out loud mumble it holy spirit i invite you into this situation i invite you into this moment and let the Holy Spirit take over that moment for you. Because it's hard. It's hard not to be triggered to, you know, not to be... It's hard to remain in control over your past self, especially during triggering moments, okay? So, we got to tell your story. So some of you guys can need to find a creative way to tell your story. Tell your story about someone that you were in connection with that's been triggering you left and right. I'm hearing. Okay, so we have mother. Could need to tell a story about a connection between you and your mom as well. So we got mother. Mother, every it's everything attached to you wins. Okay. So this could be a message for your mom as well. Or spirit could be letting you know that you will win. Your mother going to win. Your father going to win. Your children going to win. 
Everything it tests you, you wins. So you have someone in your energy that's willing to end themselves just to end you. Then we have, it ain't coming this month, sis. It ain't coming this month, sis. So somebody gonna be missing that period. It's gonna be congratulations, you pregnant, sis. So someone's missing the period. But we have willing to end themselves just to end you. Um... Whoever this person is that's willing to end themselves just to end you, they heavy set and they got a new car. That's too much. That's doing the most. You know, if you're going to take yourself out just to, to, take, to, to try to focus on taking somebody else out, that's ridiculous. You know, you can't stand somebody that much that you going to... Drag yourself down just to bring somebody else down. 11-11 on the timer as I say that. But my sweet loves, I'm going to tell you all this. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. Because the same, the same trap they set for you, they'll fall in the pit. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Holy Spirit, what other messages? We got our change for you. I seen something about an aunt come through here. Aunt. So you can have an aunt saying they change. And they're no longer how they are. Just because they want to be in your energy. But we got um, Jaheen. So somebody is coming through saying they change for you, sweet loves. What y'all out there doing? Standing in your power? Got people changing? Because my sweet love said they ain't about to put up with nobody nonsense. So, yeah, you want to be around, you got to change. I hear that. I definitely hear that, sweet love. Because this ain't that and that ain't this, okay? At all. I'm, I'm putting it on for y'all. I'm trying to try get a feel for what y'all energy like, okay? Somebody said, I changed for you, baby. So we have take a vacation. Take a vacation. So, all right, I'll get to that after this. Take a vacation, and you need to walk away from something or someone. It's not worth it. So we have his BM or her BD jealous as fuck right then we had this jealous of your character so someone's baby mother or baby daddy is jealous of your character and they could be lying on you because we got your lies would be your demise now that's double confirmation because what, what we just discussed willing to end themselves just to end you your lies will be your demise so they trying to end you running around telling lies on you when trying to, you know, damage your character because they're jealous. But the whole time, their lies going to be their demise. Whatever they trying to set for you is the whole time they don't realize they setting themselves up. So they setting you up to fail the whole time they going to fail themselves gonna backfire so just walk away it's not worth it you know what it is you tapping in with sweets you know what's going on walk away this person could be doing way too much okay heavy with the lies not sure who this energy is but heavy with the lies they're a big habitual liar the lies we tell and the secrets we keep Welling out like I used to. I don't do the things I used to no more. So somebody's saying they changed for you, sweets. Before. Broke so many hearts before. So we have, if they have to sleep with your partner to compete with you, they're ready, don't compare to you. Okay? So... 
this is confirmation to the beginning of the message, right? We had plotting on your neck, right? <laughs> so, whether it be male or female, you can have a female that's plotting on your means in them. And for my feminines, you can have a female that's plotting on your man's in her. Okay? So take it where it resonates. But Spirit wants you to know, if they got to sleep with your partner, they already don't compare to you. They already don't compare to you. They trying to compete with you by using your spouse. They already don't compare to you because we know over here, like, we ain't doing no well stuff like that, right? That's not a part of our character. My sweet loves don't move like that. So we have listen to your intuition. Okay? Listen to your intuition. Spirit is sending you signs about somebody that could have been a sneaky link that you only mess with on the weekends. Okay, sweet love. So this person kind of do saying they did some things that they can't take back, but they'll change it all for you. They ready to be loyal. They yours forever. So we got mind over emotions. Mind over emotions. When this sneaky leak come your way, your mind over your emotions. Why? Because you know already that this person not the type to struggle with you. Okay? So even if you have some love towards this person or for this person... This person that you were sneaking, creeping, and cheating with on the weekend, spirit says mind over emotions. You know they are not any good for you. So we have, if God hired you, who going to fire you? This is a quote from Maji the Priestess, um, one of my favorite healers, a fellow a fellow YouTuber. This is something that she, you know, she lives by. If God hired you, who going to fire you? And it's true. If God is for you, who can be against you? When you know that and you believe that, you're going to move a little bit different. So we got God is about to reward you, okay? So God hired you. Can't nobody fire you but him. He hired you. You're getting the job done well, I'm hearing. And now he's about to reward you, okay? Thank you, spirit. Some of you guys need to pray for discernment. Pray for discernment so you can know who or what is for you. Okay, I got to stop card. All right. Well, I am that there then, Spirit. For those of you who don't know, what my blank card is my stop card. And look, I got another one. Um, sometimes I could be a little bit... Uh, disobedient and keep going but i'm gonna stop today okay so let me get this message i don't know who what is going on but it's giving me somebody doing something in a club right the song that's on right now is love in this club i literally before getting on had was scrolling on instagram and seeing a video um from cardi b i think it was like on a shade room or something she was saying how she found the solution to couples getting drunk and making it home and not being able to be intimate because they so drunk she said just like the song said just make just make love in a club just you know screw in a club or whatever the case may be i am not advising none of y'all to do that i'm just saying it there's clearly some sides and synchronicities going on because now this song is on my tv okay Oh, so I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if y'all in a club doing what y'all doing, making love in a club, doing some wild, sneaky stuff in a club. But whatever you do, protect yourself, okay? So I will say that. Hmm. So this is a dreamer's deck affirmation. It says, I am optimistic, okay? 
I know that for every door that life closes, I know that for every door that life closes, a new one opens around the corner. Okay? So, everyone knows, I mean, you should know at this point in your life, God doesn't close one door without opening another. Okay? If God closes one door, it's because he already has one op another one open for you. You just can't see it. So, just keep that in mind and, you know, be mindful of that. Be mindful. Stay optimistic. Stay hopeful and optimistic. Because, because God is never going to, you know, close one door for you without opening another one. It may not, he, he may close one door today and may not open a door for another three weeks or three months, but, or three years. But either way, he has a plan for you and he has a reason set why you, why he closed one door for you. So stay hopeful and optimistic and know that. Whatever God takes away, he always replaces it with better in his timing. So when it comes to the self-care messages, sweet love, I have authenticity and I have peace. Okay? So Spirit says, live life for you, not the audience in your head. Okay? Do it for you. Not for the watcherers. Not for the people that's watching you. Not for the people you think that's watching you. Not for the people you think judging you. Live life for you. Be your true, authentic self. Do the things that you find to bring you peace. Okay? That brings me to the next um, self-care message. Peace. Just because some people are fueled by drama doesn't mean you have to attend the performance. Make your life a drama-free zone. Okay? So... We know some people are toxic. Some people bring toxicity just because that's what they're used to, right? But you have the choice whether or not you stay and watch the performance, the drama that's going on, or whether you walk away. And choose to live your life drama free. Okay? So, be mindful. If you dedicated to finding peace and living your life drama free, you most definitely not going to stay to entertain toxicity. Even when drama comes your way, you'll know exactly what to do and how to navigate away from it. Because toxicity and drama no longer resonates with you and who you are or who you're trying to be. Who you're trying to become who you're transitioning to, you know? So, just just be very mindful of that. Be dedicated to, to bringing peace into your life. Peace is priority. They wanna come your way with the drama, the BS, the miserable behavior, the conflict, confusion, and chaos. Nah. Nah. They ain't it. That's not it. Conflict, chaos, and confusion leave you in your head wondering. Isn't it peaceful when you know that, you know, you have someone that 
makes you smile, that you can trust with your heart, you know, someone that is just as valuable to you as you are to them. And not only do they make you feel appreciated by showing you, but they also make you feel appreciated by the words that they say. Because showing you is a part of how they treat you. But they also make you feel, you know, valued. And you find peace in the words that they speak to you. So, I don't know. Somebody needed to hear that. Okay? I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have... A blessed day, a blessed week. And I don't know if y'all can hear the the uh song in the background, Fantasia when I see you. But somebody wanna see you. Somebody wanna see you. And when they see you, I'm getting about like they're gonna be real happy. Cause they think about you a lot. Could be someone that you in separation with. All right, now well, let me go ahead and get a prayer and I'll get you guys out of here. Just so you guys know, um, I am available for personal readings. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, go ahead and um, click the description box below and you'll find my email. Send me an email letting me know that you're interested in the reading and I'll send you the information that you need to proceed back, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this divinely orchestrated reading. I thank you for the word that was given to my sweet loves. I ask that you provide each and every one of them with the strength and the courage that they may not even know that they possess to, um, you know, follow through with the guidance that you've set forth here today on, on this table. I ask that you provide them with the strength and endurance that they need to keep fighting and to keep running the race. I ask that you instill crazy faith in my sweet loves and allow them to walk by faith and not by sight. Why? Because no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, everything that they're indeed going through at this time is working for their greater good because you see also they shall trust, trust your direction. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Love and light to you, sweet loves. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Enjoy your day.